Hello and welcome back to Coin Matters channel. Within 24 hours, XRP recovered 15 months of losses. Buy and hold XRP on a regular basis, as recommended by Vanda Poppy. According to a well-known crypto researcher, with XRP's spectacular increase, we recommend investing in it on a regular basis using DCA to weather market swings. Michael van der Poppe, a well-known crypto analyst, recently tweeted about the fascinating story of XRP's recent stratospheric climb, utilizing the incident to foreshadow something far bigger. Before I go any further, I just want to remind my Ripple family to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and enable notifications. If you want to see XRP increase, subscribe and enable bell notifications. Together, we make a powerful group. Help get the word out about Ripple XRP by using the hashtag in the comments. Poppy pointed out that XRP engineered a stunning bull breakthrough, erasing 15 months worth of losses in just 24 hours to impress the boys. Experts in the cryptocurrency market think that XRP's recent price action is representative of what investors might expect during a full-blown bull movement. What XRP performed, in his words, exemplifies what a bull breakthrough looks like. Importantly, a bull breakout is a sudden and sustained increase in the price of an asset, usually followed by further expansion. On July 13th, when a U.S. court ruled that XRP wasn't a security, XRP displayed this behavior. The value of the assets rose steadily over the course of 24 hours, from around 47 cents to 93 cents. However, some skeptics raised questions about how long such a precipitous ascent could be maintained. One person thought about the inverse scenario, considering what might happen if prices dropped significantly after three months. The remarkable recovery of XRP was noted by another Twitter user, who also made a significant point. He theorized that many investors would jump at the chance to cash out during such times, which may slow the market's ascent by reducing trading activity. Papa urged crypto investors and traders to allocate their funds wisely and use dollar cost averaging to buy an XRP based on the XRP model. To mitigate the effects of market volatility, the DCA investment method has an investor invest a constant sum in a coin at regular intervals. The crypto analyst thinks this methodology would help investors ride out temporary price drops with more composure. In addition, the experts advise XRP holders to resist the temptation to sell out due to peer pressure or the latest social media trend. He emphasized the value of perseverance in the face of market volatility. A legal expert argues it's unlikely that Judge Torres erred in classifying XRP as a non-security. Top attorney defends XRP's security status, claiming most commenters are mistaken. In light of the recent SEC versus Ripple judgment, crypto and financial regulation attorney Mike Selig took to Twitter to provide some further context. Judge Torres is ruling that XRP is a security when sold to institutional clients, but not a security when sold to individual investors has been mischaracterized, Selig remarked in a post yesterday. Selig claims that XRP was ruled not to be a security by Judge Torres. She ultimately decided that the coin might be used as collateral, though. The statements follow days of criticism from U.S. Congressman Brad Sherman, who called the judge's finding on whether or not XRP is a security ridiculous. XRP is a digital currency. Despite Selig's insistence that XRP is just a code, he said that the sale of XRP may constitute an investment plan in violation of securities regulations, like the sale of golden whiskey. A crypto lawyer mentioned that it is up to the courts to decide if someone has put their money into a pooled venture with the expectation of profiting from the efforts of others. To pass the Howey test, a transaction or plan must be in compliance with all of its requirements, as he pointed out. The judge had previously ruled that there were insufficient data to support their claims about specific XRP sales. In particular, the Howey test is used by U.S. courts to establish if a certain deal is an investment contract. When asked, most people would have a hard time explaining where they think Judge Torres went wrong in the Ripple case. He continued by saying that the idea that a commodity might represent a security is not supported by any case law. It's difficult to see how Judge Torres could have made a legal error. 
Additional courts, he added, have ruled that crypto assets are not contracts, transactions, or schemes. Therefore, they are not financial instruments. Finally, he said, in regards to whether or not crypto assets can be considered to represent an investment contract, Judge Torres refused to legislate from the bench. According to him, crypto-related laws are necessary. Top lawyers have warned that Judge Torres' ruling in the Ripple case reveals a major regulatory void in the area of digital assets. According to the IG, the judgment indicates that most crypto transactions will not violate securities rules. He emphasized the importance of legislative action to fill the current void in crypto asset regulation. To this, C-Link noted that legislation might provide the SEC or CFTC more leeway to issue new crypto asset regulations. The fascinating reaction from Deaton, Crypto-Law, John Deaton, creator of the United States, addressed C-Link's criticism of the judge's ruling. The attorney for XRP supporters remarked that it is surprising that so many specialists got the ruling wrong. Attorney Deaton wondered if there was genuine confusion about the judge's finding or if people were deliberately misrepresenting the judge's ruling to advance a false narrative. In the meantime, Attorney Deaton took aim at Representative Sherman, saying that he is one of those in Congress who choose to disregard the law and advocate for government regulation of the financial markets. Another defeat for the U.S. SEC as the judge determines the SEC's order was arbitrary and capricious. After recently losing a case against Ripple, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has been dealt another blow. The D.C. Circuit Court ruled against the SEC in its action against spiked futures, finding that the SEC's order was arbitrary and capricious. Grayscale's own complaint uses terminology very close to this. Since it calls into question the Southeast Sea's ability to lose cases and underlines doubts about the soundness of its recent judgments, this legal dispute is of crucial relevance. The lawyer and self-proclaimed meta-lawman James Murphy recently tweeted his thoughts on the subject. Let's get into greater depth. A judge's ruling that the SEC's order was arbitrary and capricious is a blow to the agency. James Murphy, a lawyer and crypto influencer known as Meta Law Man, spoke out about the U.S. SEC's recent loss. He elaborated on the SEC orders and validation by a three-judge panel of the D.C. Circuit, which they found to be arbitrary and capricious. Grayscales is currently being considered by two of the three judges. The company plans to appeal the SEC's decision to reject their request to reclassify GBTC as a spot Bitcoin ETF. Chief Justice Sri Srinivasan is a member of both tribunals. It's worth noting that Judge Srinivasan was once considered for a position on the U.S. Supreme Court by President Obama. This data highlights the importance of the current legal issues and the possible effects they may have on future decisions made by the SEC and the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. You're welcome for viewing. Please hit the like button and add my channel to your subscription list. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.